I ended up getting this figure from Dance Dinosaur. He's always my go-to when it comes to Namu figures. And remember, if you order anything from Dance Dinosaur, just tell them Dinoscream sent you in the comment section of your order. It helps the channel a great deal, and it's very much appreciated. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome back to another Namo review. Today we're going to take a look at the Parasaurolophus Nutcracker Soldier. This review is extremely, extremely late. This figure took well over two months to reach my hands. It actually shipped out at the exact same time as my Namu Parasaurolophus Corpse, but it was two different packages. And this one right here just got held up in customs forever. But it's finally here, so now I can finally, you know, review this figure. Been seeing everyone else getting their hands on, on it. I've been really, really excited for it. I think it's an absolutely, you know, beautiful version of the uh, Jurassic Park style Parasaurolophus. So I'm happy that it actually showed up and did not get lost in the bottles of customs forever. Namu definitely went balls deep with this Parasaurolophus release. Uh, it's the most diverse release from them so far. We have the standard version, which is based off the Lost World Parasaurolophus. We have the green one, which in hindsight, I really, really regret not getting. I'll probably get it a little bit later on. You know, I'm on a budget with these reviews. That one is based off the Jurassic Park Parasaurolophus that this was seen for like half a second uh, when they first get to the island. We have the previously reviewed corpse. And then if you really, really really hate money they have five variants for a blind bag parasaurolophus they you know they're translucent plastic different colors they go for about fifty dollars a pop and i really don't remember if anyone has actually got these in hand yet uh you know they're kind of cool because they're based off the uh parasaurolophus uh marquette that was used for uh the uh the lost world um so yeah you know if you really hate money uh this parasaurolophus release will definitely destroy your wallet so let's just go over the package really quick before we take a closer look at this figure. You've got the nice gray silhouette of the Parasaurolophus on the front. Namu's logo right here. Nutcracker Soldier, Namu logo, Namu logo, Namu logo, and that is pretty much it. For the box, you do get a nice little postcard with some beautiful art of the Parasaurolophus. And on the back, you get some more artwork of the power and then like most figures from Namu, you do get a unpainted plastic figure in here usually it's a human or sometimes it's the accessory like with the baryonyx it was uh, a gar but you do get this mini uh statue of the parasaurolophus this is the same uh pose that those translucent blind bag figures are in so yeah pretty cool i will probably uh eventually paint this up but you know who am i kidding i'm just going to toss this into the ever-grown pile of unfinished repaints that have been just sitting there for the last couple years so enough about the packaging let's throw this paris office up on the turntable and jump into this review and let's start with a nice 360 degree view of the Parasaurolophus. This is a beautiful representation of how the para appeared in the Lost World Jurassic Park. This whole figure is just beautifully sculpted and painted, which is pretty much par for the course for Namu. They have really, really captured the market when it comes to uh, unofficial Jurassic merchandise. They're just so affordable and they're so beautiful when you get them in here. They are definitely, definitely worth the money. I love the nice active running pose the figure is sculpted in. It has a beautiful base that looks like a uh, wet riverbed. It's just all around just an absolutely amazing looking figure at, you know, the, uh, paintwork is very close uh, to the concept art uh, of the power from the Lost World and just, you know, head to toe, this thing is just absolutely amazing looking. And like I said earlier, kind of wish I got the green one now. I probably eventually will. I just, you know, bought way, way too many Transformers uh, last month and that kind of killed the dinosaur budget uh, just a little bit. And we're right on the cusp of like all these Wave 2 Jurassic World figures uh, getting released uh, from Mattel. So yeah, it's been uh, a little tough on the wall at the last uh, couple months, uh, months with all these new releases. And now for some quick measurements. This figure, if you measure along the curve of the head, is about 13 and a half inches long or 34 and a quarter centimeters and measuring it to the top of the head from the base it's about six and a half inches tall or 16 and a half centimeters so the jurassic park parasaurolophus is estimated according to jurassic park wiki around 23 and a quarter feet long so i'll put this figure somewhere in the 120 scale range and if you want to go by the real life estimate of this animal which is around 31 feet or nine and a half meters that'll put this figure somewhere in the 127 scale range 
And before we take a closer look at the figure, let's take a look at this beautiful looking display base. Definitely one of my favorite bases from Namu so far. It looks like a wet riverbed. You have this nice gloss effect for the water. All different sized stones and pebbles sculpted throughout. Some nice dry brushing and texturing. Some of the rocks are different color. You can even see some of the rocks are uh, oxidizing just a little bit. Just all around a very natural and lifelike looking base. You do have a footprint right here for the hind foot to plug into with a metal rod and then turn it over you get the namu logo and nutcracker soldier so just to put this figure on the base you just gotta use the hole on the back of the hind foot you know if my camera would uh focus in on that and i actually got a new uh camera so these videos might look a little bit different a little bit more uh clear and crisp so that's how you mount the figure on the base now namu did include this little clear plastic rod. I guess uh, they were worried that this figure would warp over time because uh, the material is just a little bit flexible. So there's really nowhere to plug in this rod. You just kind of kind of finagle it uh, underneath the chest of the power office and then balance it on the base and that should prevent the figure from warping. It's, you know, it's kind of like a, a hack fix, but it's nice that they uh, included it so we don't have to worry about this figure warping over time because it is kind of pricey. It is a $75 figure. So even though it's a cheap fix, uh, it works, so I'm okay with it. And let's zoom in and take a look at some of the finer details on this figure, starting with this absolutely beautiful head sculpt. Nemo always gives their figures a very, very lifelike look. You can see the head crest is painted a nice maroon color. You can see the nostrils beautifully sculpted on the front. Let's go camera. This camera is just a little bit slow focusing, but it does provide a nice image. The eyes are beautifully painted with a nice little bit of a gloss coat. You have a little bit of a black trim around the pupil. Very, very lifelike looking eye. You got some scale detail around the orbit. You can see the mouth clearly painted in right here. And then most of the figure is not really scale. It's mostly just folds and wrinkles, but that's pretty much how it appeared in the movie. And then looking at it from the top right here, you can see my crest is just a tiny, tiny bit warped. It's because this figure is made of a plastic material. Thankfully, uh, it's not resin or this could be like the uh, standing Brachiosaurus debacle all over again. I can see that easily snapping if that was a more rigid material. And then going down to the neck, you get some nice folds and wrinkles. You get this really nice white stripe that starts right at the base of the neck that goes all the way down the body to the very, very tip of the tail. And then going down to the forearms. Forearms are beautifully sculpted. You get some really nice muscle detail. Going down to the hands, you get some nice folds and wrinkles the hand claws are tipped in a glossy brown paint while wow, i can really get used to this new camera just not uh as fine focus as my older one going down to the body you do have some scale details mostly looks just like cracks and stuff and just more folds and wrinkles especially along the back but really nice color palette all over it i love the color pattern of the lost world paris because it was definitely one of my favorite dinosaurs from the movie because some nice brown stripes on the thighs and calves of the hind legs. You have a little bit of speckling of brown on the front of the thighs going down to the feet. Feet are nicely sculpted with some more of that glossy brown paint. Here's the underside of the feet. You can see some nice details on the bottom of the feet. And let's take a look at the figure from the other side. You can see that nice uh, hind limb is just nice and tense with all that muscle to support all the weight of the animal. Turn the figure over. You get some nice white paint and a wash over there to bring out all that nice detail on the belly. And then going down to the tail, there it is. We have our little tiny cloaca slit. Always have to check out our dinosaur buttholes on this channel. And then going down to the tail, some more nice folds and wrinkles. A little bit of yellow in that white stripe to highlight it. You get some speckling of brown on the bottom of the tail so all, all just an absolutely beautiful beautiful looking figure nice heavily muscular figures nice and chunky looking when viewed from the top definitely one of my favorite releases uh from namu so far just absolutely am delighted to finally have this thing in my hands now moving on with comparisons first up here it is with mattel's 
Roland Tembo, and I have to say, I think this figure is big enough to scale with the uh, Mattel human figures. You know, if you're into you know dioramas and toy photography, I think this figure will work nicely with the uh, Mattel mainline figures. And next up here it is with Namu's beautiful Parasaurolophus corpse, and I think it's a nice display piece to have uh, displayed next to the you know a live version of this figure. And next up here it is with the Hammond collection. Parasaurolophus. Both figures are roughly about the same size. The Hammond Collection one is just a little bit smaller. And next up, let's do an accurate looking Parasaurolophus. Here it is with Pianessos. And now let's compare it to some other Namu figures. Here it is with their Giganotosaurus. Uh, this figure is now retired for obvious reasons. That's because Dominion is out now and they're going to do the Dominion version of the uh, Jiga. Uh, personally, I've always liked this figure uh, from them. I think it's a much better design uh, than the Dominion one. I will be picking up the Dominion one because it is such a quirky, weird design. I do want it in my collection. And, you know, Nam was be cranking out a lot of times of figures uh, going forward because of Dominion. I think they have a new Carnotaurus. Uh, they're doing the Therizinosaurus. So yeah, a lot of goodies coming from uh, Namu in the next year or so. And I'll be dropping a lot of money on those. And next up, here it is with the Baryonyx pair. And lastly, here it is with their T-Rex. And the way this para is sculpted, it's in a running pose. You can pose some of the... Uh, predatory dinosaurs next to it make it look like it's chasing it the t-rex really uh doesn't line up too well with it. it looks like it's about to maybe you know go for the shanks which would be a uh, good move to disable uh the para and another thing is the parasaurolophus especially next to the t-rex just seems a little bit too big like i said this thing scales between a 120 and 120 scale range it's not really in that 135 scale but it's really not that big of a deal so final thoughts on Namu's Nutcracker Soldier. I think this is a fantastic piece. If you are into the Jurassic style dinosaurs, this is definitely a must add to your collection. Just an absolute beautiful representation of the Lost World. Paris Ralphus loved the active running pose uh, straight from that scene uh, in the Lost World when the uh, InGen poachers showed up. Just beautifully sculpted from head to toe and I absolutely love the paint work on here. You know, since Namu doesn't have, does not have the Jurassic license, you know, that's why the figures are so affordable, you know, say compared to W Dragon, which actually has the license. You know, this figure is $75. It's a good size figure, comes with a beautiful base and is movie accurate. So that's why I've been a huge fan of Namu figures for the last uh, few years. Definitely, definitely a must add to your collection if you're a Jurassic Park fan. And like I said at the beginning of the review, I ended up getting this figure from Dan's Dinosaur Retails for just around $75. And remember, if you order them from Dan's Dinosaur, just tell them Dino Scream sent you in the notes comic section of your order. It helps out the channel a great deal, and it's very much appreciated. So that will do it for the review. Uh, the only new thing I have coming up is the Hammond Collection Gallimimus and Dr. Alan Grant. They actually shipped from Mattel Creations. I hopefully should have them sometime this week, so stay, stay tuned for those reviews. Uh, then after that, I really don't have much uh, new stuff to review, so I'll probably go back and review some older figures until all those Wave 2 uh, Mattel Jurassic World figures uh, stop releasing, totally destroy my wallet. And uh, stay tuned for you know the end of July and August. Some exciting reveals uh, coming on the channel from a, another dinosaur company. So that's a big market tease. And as always, if you're enjoying the content on this channel, show your support by hitting that subscription button just below the video. Each subscription helps out the channel tremendously and is greatly appreciated. And I'll see you guys for the next one.